Welcome to Think A Bit. I'm Joe King. And today is January 24th and the price of Bitcoin is $37,050. I think it's still a little too high to me. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Katera Sense Edge Mini. Here, I'm going to give my review on it. I mean, I was real excited when I got this because I got my Aware Element and I love the device, man. It's a great device. I mean, super user friendly. Um, it's a great device. So well, I was super excited to get this Katera Sense Edge because, I mean, I paid four times more for this Sense Edge Mini than I did for my Aware Element. So I'm thinking, wow, this Katera must be a lot better because I got like the um, Aware Element. When it was like 140 on Amazon when it first came out. And the Sanchez Mini is like 650 bucks, So that's like four times higher. And let me tell you right now, this Katera Sanchez, it sucks. The wear element is way better. First off, looking at the device, $650 air quality monitor. You have to hang it on, you hang it on your wall. There's not even a screen on it. There's no screen. You cannot see the temperature, no air stats or nothing. So you think, okay, no big deal, no screen, no, no air stats. I'll just look at the app. There's no app. There's no app for the Katera Sense Edge Mini. There's no app. There's no phone app. If you want to look at the stats, you have to go to your web browser and log in and look at the dashboard on the web browser. And what a pain. $650 and you can't make an app? They have like two apps in the app store. One's to set up the device and the live air is like nothing. It, it t tells you live air stats of, of the air around you. It does not tell your device stats. Huge disappointment, huge letdown. For comparison's sake, the aware element, you could put whatever stats you want to read on the front of it. And not only that, it has a little light. Green means good air quality, orange is, you know, worse, and red is bad. All right, so if you say screw the air quality, I don't care about it. I just want to mine planets with it. Well, that's a huge problem too. I never got my full 46 planets on my Katera yet. I started off with 44 and I was like, okay, that's acceptable. Then it went down to 40. And then here, look at my last three day stats. Look at this. 37. Then I got 35. Then today I got 33. This is unacceptable, man. So it sucks as the air quality monitor. It sucks mining planets. If I was you guys, I would not buy this device. I mean, hopefully they onboard another Type 3 if you're doing it for Planet Watch. And then uh, you buy that one because this one sucks. No app, no screen. You don't mind your full planets. It's a piece of junk. Let's be honest. Aware element is greater than the Katera. We all know with the aware elements, you're getting around 16 planets a day, but that's fine. 16 planets, whatever. I can still use it as an air quality monitor. I can still use it in my house. The Katera, it's not user friendly. It's a pain. If I want to see the temperature or check the air quality real quick, glance over at the aware element. Oh, it's 70 degrees, green light. My air quality is good. Well, I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're excited to get to Katera, don't be so excited to get it because it sucks as an air quality monitor. I mean, it's a horrible device. There's no screen on it. There's no app on it. So, and you don't mind your full planets. So this app, this review is a big F. Katera gets a big, huge F. They need to come out with an app. They need to come out with a screen on the device and they need to mine the full planets. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the Discord. The link will be down in the description and you can stay up to date on everything that's happening in crypto. And that's it.